What's up, guys? We're we're back here, and today we are going. Well, today I had bought the the Titan mini set. Uh, turns out that came out today. I had no idea this was coming out, and I had planned to play a deck that was not this. So, oh well. I guess we're gonna play that deck anyways, and we're gonna start playing mini deck decks tomorrow. I guess. Um, or yeah, we'll start playing them tomorrow. Anyways, uh, with that being said, I just want to show that I had purchased it. And now we are going to hop right into the deck that I decided to play. All right, guys. Yeah. With that being said, I'll see you guys all there. All right. Uh, that took a little bit longer than I wanted to. Um, so today we're going to be playing Bomb Warrior. Uh, for those who don't know what Bomb Warrior is, it's a deck that revolves around the idea of shuffling bombs to your opponent's deck, right? So you now have Blast from the Past, which is pretty good. Uh, Clockwork Goblin... I think that one's still fine and playable. Uh, Wrench Caliper, and I believe that's it for the ways that we normally shuffle bombs into uh, your opponent's deck. But we have the payoff card of Blastmaster Boom. We also going to play Lady Ashvane to buff the Wrench Calipers. You don't know, get extra attacks in. But beside that, it's it's basically Control Warrior with this as an alternate wooden con. So you never really have to develop something that slows you down too much. And then in case that we do run into the Control V Control matchup. Uh, Dr. Boom is the best hero portrait for control view control. I'm pretty sure in the game still. Um, I could be wrong on that, but just the fact that you could develop mechs for free, as well as the fact, right, say if you buff both of these with the lady. So that's 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 bombs to your opponent's deck, which is 70 damage. Very few decks will survive 70 damage, but the big thing is you also have to survive, so it's one of those things where it's just kind of like, well, we hope we survive. Uh, besides that, actually, these are kind of bad in here now. Uh, I removed a lot of the early game before I was playing the... They're going to be cold bugs, I think. I think, that's, I think that's slightly better. I don't think uh, that card's ever going to draw really more than one card. Uh, I guess I could add a brand. If we're doing that, I'm gonna add Bran as well. Uh, so now we also kind of have a mill strap, but also we can do Bran plus Clockwork to shuffle a whole bunch into our opponent's deck. Yeah. Anyways, uh, with that all being said, um, I'm very interested to see how this is gonna perform. So how about we queue up the first game and let's see how it goes. All right, guys. Yeah. That being said, I'll see you guys all there. All right. First matchup is a rogue. Oh, there's anomalies here now too. At the end of each player's turn, give a random. What was that? The random one of their minions plus one health. So that's lizard. Why are you ruining Hearthstone? Uh, I don't think I want to keep shield slam. I'm fine keeping this. So this is really annoying. Uh, I didn't even know they added these. I had read online that apparently some people were pissed about it and some developer was talking about it. Or I can understand people being mad about something like this. Because it is very annoying um, having these random effects. It's like... It's really annoying. So I have to coin this out now, but also I just straight up don't get value out of it, like, at all. Do this. Maybe he just plays a one health dude or he just hero powers, this way this gets more value, and I have this buffed in hand. Maybe, I guess. Guess that is a hope. This is gonna be super weird. I'm assuming that they all favor aggro. Like, this favors aggro a lot. Okay, I can do this now. So, this is not fun. Okay, reason. He's aiming to play Swordfish here, which means I can bash this. Oh, uh, this is so awful. I hate this. I actually hate this mechanic. Let's bash here. I don't take damage, which is pretty nice. Next turn I can do this. So yeah, also for those who are wondering, um 
this is me trying to build the deck kind of so i had played a deck similar to this a while back on the channel it was all the way like last of expansion i believe uh i don't remember if it was last expansion or the expansion before this where i played bomb warrior um i'm not good at building decks it's probably my weakest point but you know i try every so often to get it done it hardly ever works if i'm being honest most of the time i build a deck and it's pretty bad um but yeah this is me trying i i am going to be trying to build more and more decks in the upcoming videos because it is something i do want to get better at i think it's my weakest point when it comes to playing card games so hopefully i can get better at it i hope i'm not just dead here man this is actually so fucking toxic this is so fucking toxic Frozen Bunker is really fucking good. Okay. So, at least this gets buffed. It doesn't change anything, right? It dies to a trigger of the cannon. Uh, but I do have Frozen Bunker plus Shield Shatter plus Stonekin next turn. Which is good for me. Hopefully he plays the other minion in hand. Interesting. If he doesn't, I can also just go hero power. Oh, that is so bad for me. Okay, hopefully he just plays four small pirates. I do go down to two in that case. But it is best case scenario for me. Worst case scenario is if he hits second weapon. He kind of hits second weapon. Uh, uh, I gain a lot of armor if I do that. If I'm fine getting rid of Bran, because that is five mana. I could technically do that, which I don't think he's gonna be able to play that many more pirates throughout this game. I do lose my brand, which kind of sucks, but should be fine. Okay. I feel like that was that was correct. Instead of just going the the frozen bunker, the thing right now he's gonna probably be averaging one or two minions a turn. Um, and my goal should be to control those. I think four was probably the most I was gonna be able to get. I'm, I'm fine with that. Again, except for drawing second secret passage. Or drawing other things like that. He hit a spell, which is really bad for me. Because that means he will be able to hit martyr dudes. It's pretty good. Do you have the image of Can't play that. I can play this. The shuffles his deck. Which means he might not draw the spell he wants to spell to you wanted to draw. Which is really good for me. He has four bombs in here. Which means he only has 14 cards left. Yeah, this is actually really good. That was probably the best draw he had, though. I can gain 10 here, if need be. Control the board. Give me 3. Hopefully a buff here. That would be best case scenario. Best case scenario is a buff here. Beautiful. So I can do this now. I kind of want to play this here to be safe and gain a little bit more health. But I feel like at 16, I should be fine. Yeah, if I have 16, I should be fine. Anyways. Hey, finally, start drawing the bombs that I shuffled into your deck. By the way, I hope everybody has a beverage. I am currently drinking myself a nice rum and coke because I still had rum left and I wanted a rum and coke. I am a very simple person. I want very few things in life. And honestly, a good rum and coke at night, it's, it's pretty good. Yeah. I trade this in here. Up there. This. Do I want to just gain four? No, I'm going to save this for when he draws his second. Uh, 
I'd actually rather do this, save the extra health. So I'm at 12, I'm now profiting one health a turn. So how many things did I put in? I put in three, four, five, six. Put in six, he's drawn three. Right, I put in seven, no, seven, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, six. Uh, and he's drawn three, which means that he has three left, and I'm putting another one in. As well as poking him. Alright, okay, we should be fine here. We should we should win the game. Let's shoot with this. Uh, I should have actually put bombs in his deck first. That was bad on my part. Relevant to keep this one around. Uh, I mean, I'm just lethal like that, but I want to kill him through bombs. Draw a bomb. Block. <laughs> I don't think I threw because I don't think there's anything really with charge in that deck. Unless he's playing smite nowadays, which no one really does. And if he does, I get punished. I mean, that's on me. But I wanted to watch him die by a bomb exploding on his forehead. Oh, that's really good for him here, actually. A lot of damage. Maybe I draw a second one of those, because that'd be cool. I can go dry whiskers here to gain some amount of health back. Oh, wait. I want to kill him through bombs! I fucked up. Oh, uh, I mean, I'll take the win. Uh, I feel like we played that pretty well. It was pretty lucky hitting the shield shatter off the taunt dude, if I'm being honest. Uh, that was pretty lucky and basically necessary to win. But, hey. Anyways, with that being said, how about we queue up the next one? Alright guys, yeah. With that being said, I'll see you guys all there. Alright. Okay. Let's... Both here, so it's... Okay. So for plans, I... Okay, this one actually favors control. Alright, alright. So, I'm playing with older enough all this game, I guess. Uh, I'm down to keep this. I don't know what type of demon hunter he is playing. So, yeah. Wait, what? Both heroes start with plus five health. It doesn't stack on Renathal? I got fucking scammed! That's fucking bullshit. Why doesn't it stop stack on Renathal? That's so fucking dumb. I fucking hate that. That is bullshit. And you will never find me seeing otherwise. We're actually kind of favored in this matchup. Because he needs to draw a lot of cards, and we put a lot of bombs into his deck, so. Hopefully we draw, uh, what's it called? Corsair's Cash. That would be the best draw in our deck right now. Um, but yeah. Caliper is really good. This is, I guess, gonna just have to wait. <laughs> so yeah, the more bombs we shuffle in his deck, the better it is for us. So right now he's at 10 damage. We attack put him up to 15. We he's at 26. Blast from the past puts him up to 20 in deck. So we're we're not in an awful position. If he doesn't attack us here, we actually can do poke, draw tubes, we'll have our armor change, blast from the past, shuffle it in, get our bombs. Like, I'm, I'm super okay with that, because that is very good use of my mana. Let's just hope he doesn't deal damage to us here. I'll actually poke the 2 1, so this way he can't easily trade into the Stonekin. Oh, I guess he still can, but it takes up both dudes. This way he does lose both. 
The fact that he actually attacked me there is not something I expected. Well, I did not expect to be able to complete second part of quest this turn, but I guess he was able to. Alright. Well, that fucking sucks. Well, it's just us, right? One mana off feels bad. Feels really bad the fact I'm one mana off being able to go Blade Storm here as well. This Blade Storm here would have been so fucking good. Yeah. Got a little unlucky there. Our deck here is not updating. Fine. We do wipe the board besides this, so maybe we do find something that helps us kill this. Doesn't help at all. Do I want blast from the past? Yeah, because I can get freeze for this. So, he's now at... He's drawn two, I put four into his deck, right? So he has, he's at nine, technically. Well. Okay. He is down to just these guys left in his deck, which is pretty good for me, uh, all things considered. If he kills that. Beautiful. Do you have infinite I don't know if he's going to be able to draw the rest of his deck this turn, but I think he might be able to. I just don't know if he's going to also be able to... He won't also be able to play the other dude is the big thing, right? He can't do both. Play that and play what's-her-face. Okay, well... I can do this here. Is this better or is this better? Hmm. This is interesting because I get a spare part, which means I can. I also have a taunt to do, which means he's not punching me in the dome with this. I don't remember. Does he have one or two bombs left in his deck? I think he has none. Go with this. This way, if he wipes the board, I can actually wipe the board and just prevent him from drawing his whole deck by high rolling here. That is another play. Do this. Now, if he wants to attack, he either has to kill this first. Okay. Yeah, I think my angle of trying to prevent him from having bomb or from being able to play his shit is the only angle that wins me the game. I just don't remember how many bombs he has left in his deck. He has one minimum that I can think of right now. That was a little problematic. I didn't want to see that one really. It's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. 
he did have another bomb. I thought he had one more left after that. So, yeah. Turns out, that's how you beat Questline Demon Hunter. If you just fill their deck with cards that say draw cards and die, you win the game. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Alrighty, I'll take that dub skis. And uh, how about we have time for one last game? And that also completes a whole bunch of quests. So let's queue it up and let's see how it goes. Alright. First card drawn on each player's turn is one they can't. They can afford to play. You're already dead. Yes. Felt alone yet. So me, it's just I draw straight removal. Keep this. All that. Uh I wanna keep this, right? I'm it's fucking I draw either shield slam or slam on turn one. I draw bash. Yeah, like I feel like this is fine here. Oh, this is fine. It's just still a decent curve. Yeah, okay. Like, I feel like this is fine. I'm assuming it's a disco. Right? Like, if I just assume it's a disco, and the fact that most of my deck is just removal, I should be favored. That is a sick Warlock portrait. I will... I will die on that hill. Also, by the way, I think the deck... The first deck we're gonna play is gonna be a Druid deck. Uh, from the new stuff that's coming out. Um... Yes, it's because I want to play Druid, but it's also because... For those who have not seen it yet, the new druid portrait is pretty clean. By pretty clean, I mean fucking clean. Okay, that's good for me. We didn't really do anything, so that's that is pretty good. Hoping for a bash top deck. Bash would have been sick to just be able to remove that from the game. Um if he doesn't do too much value shit, I'm gonna just go wrench caliper. Also, the fact that my deck is not updating is a little bit tilting. Bash is the best draw on my deck here, I think. Because that thing is fucking huge now. If I don't draw... Well, I guess it's just this here. Feel that. This gets huge next turn. Uh, I can go the Ingenious... Here, I think that's that's pretty good. Hopefully I do draw a piece of removal though. And slam. Slam is the best draw in my deck. Actually no, I can kill that next turn with Frozen Bunker. Field slam on it. Yeah, I guess I'll just do that. Okay, frozen bunker, shield slam, poke there. This does mean that I will never draw Shield Shatter as my first card for turn. What is if I put a card on top of my deck that costs more than I can play? Please force. What? That should not be how that card works. Like, at all. Well, I don't think I can shoot from this now. That's pretty good. Hmm. I feel like minefield is probably the best bet. All things considered. Five armor, those are really good. I'll do this. Put our bomb into his deck. So he's now at 10 damage left on his deck from bombs. Very interesting. I just need to be able to survive his discard damage, right? So he's played one soul barrage. I've seen zero fists, but I've seen both soul fires, which means he's technically only at like 14 damage left, right? Yeah, 14 left or so. good hit for me that's fine the reason that's good for me is now i can kill this off oh it doesn't even work the way i thought it worked interesting 
So I can't go for that here. It's not bad. Is there anything I can draw here that really helps me here besides just doing this and this? As I don't want to be that low. Like, this 13 is fucking low. Just playing this deals 3 damage to everything. It doesn't kill both. Hmm. I wish I, I wish I would have taken the minefield. These are flipped. What the fuck? I wish I'd taken the minefield. And I wish I would have drawn minefield. Okay, I have to go for that, right? It's mostly just poke, poke, I die. Yeah. Right. It floods the board. I can... I'm okay with that. I'm super okay with that. Like, that could have been much worse for me. That's uh, four damage to my dome. He draws two. Okay. ETC. I have no idea what the fuck are in ETC piles for that deck. I have zero idea what the fucking ETC pile looks like in that deck. Alright, well... Maybe it's like Doom Garden. Like that could be something I could see being there. It could be Doom Guard. Symphony of Sin. Wow, okay. I got fucking huge punished. That was like the last card I thought it would have been. I'm dead as he had Symphony of Sin. I sure did not expect a Symphony of Sin. Doesn't even really help. I have to go for it though, anyways. I'd rather keep the dudes. I can get freeze here. Maybe there's two bombs left in his deck. I have no idea how many are left in his deck, if I'm being honest. Like 13 here. I guess technically wrench caliper is lethal if I top deck it. Like a two drop, right? Bro, Wrench Caliper is no longer lethal because he fucking. I hate this game. I even had lethal too. If this was the, if he did not hit his second one of these, I had lethal. That is really fucking tilting. That is so fucking tilting. There was one draw in his deck there that saved him and he hit it. I mean, it happens, but whatever. Uh, it's annoying when it does happen, but it's something you need to expect to happen. Um, yeah, I feel like I got cucked really hard by the anomaly that was in that game. Like, really fucking hard. Uh, what can you do? I'm not the one who controls it, right? <sighs> could I have played that better? Maybe there's a turn where I could have used better removal. Uh, it was the Symphony of Sin hitting right away, plus six, plus six across his dudes. That really a damper in what I needed to do and I got punished for it so yeah it happens
Uh, anyways, we have... Uh, I should probably start saving my gold for the next set, huh? But yes, I am going to be getting this, because... You know, who doesn't want this? This is so sick. I love this portrait. Although I saw I saw a really funny thing where you know it's the the yes honey meme, right? And it's uh it's guff being like I have 5 mana, honey. <laughs> or I have 5 mana, Cthulhu or something like that and it says yes, honey and it's Cthulhu looking all sad. Because to be fair, it is going to be overwritten. It is, it is the first cosmetic I'm buying in forever, and I'm doing it solely because it looks sick. And no one can tell me otherwise. Was there poison, whatever, a weapon, corpses? Fire. I really wish there was more creation of the plagues for uh, Death Knight. That would have been sick. This card is very interesting. I, I think that card could be pretty solid in um in the quest line deck as like a late game finisher. Just play it for like ten. Uh deal damage equal to your armor to all minions. That would have been pretty good to put in the deck. I think that that card's actually pretty fucking clean. Like six mana. Cast the random one cast spell. Improves your fur trick. This is sick. I kind of want to try playing a deck with Yogg. Maybe going Omega Yogg Cthulhu. Uh, Druid could be fun. I, I'm just thinking out loud now. I'm gonna try. Yeah, I'll I'll try to throw something like that together for tomorrow. I feel like that could be fun. Maybe play it on stream and whatnot. Um. With that being said, I am going to be trying to stream later tonight. Uh, I might be super exhausted because I am going to play Magic. But if I'm not too tired, I will be streaming uh later tonight. So look forward to that. If you guys would like to come and hang out, might be playing that Cthulhu deck that I'm thinking about. The the Druid deck. Or I kind of also want to try doing Cthulhu Druid. Um, I kind of want to try going Cthulhu Druid because of the fact that Cthulhu Portrait with the Cthulhu buffs. I just think that could be silly and pretty cool. So I'm going to try that out. But besides that, Bomb Warrior felt really good. Not going to lie. Uh, I felt like this, this, the deck feels good. It doesn't feel broken. It feels good. Um, yeah, I, I can see this just being a decent control deck that's a little bit off meta. It It is pretty good against... I want to say it's good against the Warlock, the Disco deck. You have a lot of health gain and you have a lot of removal. It's just very unfortunate that he had Symphony of Sin and then drew the card off Symphony of Sin the second, next turn. And I, I cut Brawls from the deck. For, uh, was it? It wasn't for Minefield. It was for the Bladestorms. And Bladestorms were really bad in that scenario. Maybe one Brawl, one Bladestorm. But there's, there's, a, there's a couple cards that you could still try out in the deck if you guys want to make your own, um, if you guys want to try making your own version of the deck. I just, I just like the core concept of the bombs. I didn't get to play Blastmaster Boom, which kind of sucks. Uh, Boom bots, though, are kind of underpowered nowadays. But you know what? For a good meme deck, I, I think it's solid. Alright? Yeah. With that being said, I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, don't forget to like and subscribe as always. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys all on the next one where hopefully we get some more dubs. Alright guys? Yeah. With that being said, I'll see you guys all on the next one. Peace.